Hey everybody, I am here to do a reading for you. Uh, I want to raise your vibration a little bit, give you some information just randomly from the field. And um, I know it's, you know, well look, it's the end times, it's Armageddon. Yes, that star of Bethlehem that I talked to you about or I mentioned, you need to look it up. It's the uh, Jupiter-Saturn uh, conjunction December 21st in 2020. And you can just look that up, okay? But right now, we're just going to look at the cards, okay? And uh, at the end of this reading, I am going to uh, sing to bring in the Savior beings again, uh, Kalki, Jesus Christ, and um, other Savior beings who... We have come to that critical moment. Okay, I'm not trying to alarm you or anything like that, but do I need to try? Okay, I've pre-shuffled these. This is the Earth Warrior deck, Alanis. Um, yeah, I can't remember her last name. Uh, Yuluka Vahini, she who rides the owl brings justice. Wow, I think that is definitely in line with what I just said. So, um, yeah, it is in my mind right now. My, my mind is very close to preparing myself to receive the beings who bring justice. And um, uh, if you watch some of my older videos or some of my other, like, readings that I have on, I talk about a dream I had of two snowy white owls that came in my window of my apartment here. And it was a very, uh, it was a power dream. So it was, it just seemed like it was real. And they offered me a lot of amazing energy and one of them snuggled up to me and it was difficult to uh, watch them leave as they came through my window. Uh, so please feel confident that justice is real, that there is a balance to all of the injustices that you're experiencing right now. Uh, by the way, I'm also going to do a reading from my very old Bible because it's biblical out there, isn't it? Okay, here we have the in each other we find ourselves. Now this is really important to me, okay? Because we have a situation where we have leaders and we have spiritual leaders and we have people. We're always looking to this going, oh wow, what if I was him? And then when these people, including myself, okay, I'm guilty of this too, we have these experiences and we're like, oh, I, I had this amazing experience. I want to teach others how to have it. No, that was my experience. You go have your experience, all right? Now, we can look at each other's experiences and be inspired by them. That's about it. So in each other, we find ourselves. Look at that. It also means of course, namaste. And that's just a basic piece of science. You know, we're all made of the same stuff. We are one. We don't need to write, you know, like volumes and volumes of books and, and strain ourselves channeling that information, do we? Maybe. Okay. Um, I'm going to shuffle a little bit more and I'm going to try and, uh, I don't know. I want to sing now, right? Okay. If only we all know what we know, you have Go to the Kalki is coming 
Um, I noticed a lot of people like that little video that I made, the song one. Here's the next card I would like to read for you. It says, Kuntur Yachak, blessings from the son of Hana Pacha. Okay, so I'm just going to say that um, a lot of us are sad, terrified, depressed, worried, anxious. Um, it's very difficult to know so much and to have family and friends who... Uh, and just my love for all of humanity and everyone that I've ever known um, that they uh, may not be able to tune in to knowledge and wisdom and the teachings that lead to the awakenings that are happening um, and so we have to rely on the blessings you see of the greater beings like Yeshua like uh, Buddha and uh, so many other greater beings, white buffalo calf woman, and um, so many greater beings than us. So if you feel defeated and you feel like you can't um, get through to people, uh, please understand that you're you're not working alone here. And I'm, of course, I'm just talking to myself right now <laughs> and acting like I'm talking to you. Um, because in my own way, I have shared many in many ways. And, you know, I used to care for children. I've been caring for children since I was a child. And then I used to do that in daycare centers. And then I, I fought for the rights of people in the streets a lot as an activist. And then I defended the trees. And now I feel pointless. I'm not kidding. But that's just because my work is done. And that's because the work belongs to you as I've said in other videos so let's get cracking and um, we're gonna get one more card to offer I would like please for the greater energies to tune in to me and this reading and everyone who's watching and please in the non-randomness of randomness in the miracle show us uh, something to help us to feel this Medicine of the Rainbow Jaguar And that's the song that goes with this card. Each song in in this deck has a has a card. Has a, I'm just joking, right? Don't forget to dance. Don't forget to sing. Don't forget the spirits still want you to be happy, even though the world's coming to an end. Because it should. Please try and find joy. I know I have found it difficult. I am bumping up against in my own personal life. staggering, confusing situations. I really am making this video to get me through those two, and I hope that they're helping you get through something. Okay, now let's move on to the Bible. All right? Let's not take it seriously. Let's not use the Bible to condemn others. Let's not use this book to make ourselves self-righteous. And let's not, uh, let's just remember that this book has had a great influence on your society. And, uh, um, yeah. So we are just actually going to channel from this book. And how I do channelings from books is I hold it like this. I put it on my lap. And then I, uh, I open this part and then I go like this until I feel I'm done. And then I open it and I read the first thing my eyes see. It's kind of like reading cards, only it's the Bible. So I would like to uh, ask the saints and the prophets of the Bible to tune in to me right now and to whoever's watching this so that we can just get a, some information or a message that would be a really good thing for us to know right now. And that message is... 
Ezekiel uh, chapter 48. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way of Hethlon, as one goeth to Hamath, Hazar Enan, the border of Damascus northward to the coast of Hamath, for these are his sides, east and west, a portion for Dan, and by the border of Dan from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Asher, and by the border of Asher from the east side, even unto the west side, a portion for Naphtali, and by the border of Naphtali from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Manasseh, and by the border of Manasseh from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Ephraim, and by the border of Ephraim from the east side even unto the west side, a portion for Reuben, and by the border of Reuben from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Judah, and by the border of Judah from the east side unto the west side shall be the offering which ye shall offer of five and twenty thousand reeds in breadth and in length as one of the other parts from the east side unto the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. And so it goes on to talk about holy oblations, and it talks about the priests, and it goes on to um, say, and they shall not sell of it, neither exchange nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. And it goes on about the measurements. And they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. And it continues on. And this is actually the last chapter of Ezekiel. And you might think what I'm reading is unimportant, but I don't think it is. I think these names are actually triggering people who are watching this. Okay. Uh, in good ways. And the residue shall be for the prince, and on the one side and on the other of the holy oblation and of the possession of the city over against the five and twenty thousand of the oblation toward the east border, and westward over against the five and twenty thousand toward the west border, over against the portions for the prince. And it shall be the holy oblation, and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof. I'm going to read the last verse. At the west of Ezekiel, at the west side, 4,500 with their three gates and one gate of God, one gate of Asher, one gate of Naphtali. It was round about 18,000 measures and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. That's right. Uh, I'm leaving you with that. And uh, I'll be back. I'm not making these videos on a regular basis, but I'm going to be making them. Uh, I love you. Um, I made this out of a, uh, a shirt that was given to me by this amazing elder in my community. And then I cut holes in it and I put this faux fur th that I got from the thrift store. I'm not rich. Okay. Ah, right. uh, yes, I'm rich. I'm spiritually rich. And I wish that I could always remember that that super counts.